Hello everyone and welcome back to Divinity Original Sin 2 where I am again joined by Lady Shelab. Say hello Shelab. Hello everybody. And uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, your character still looks like a lampshade to me with that bucket on its head. Well, I get the first good helmet a then. <laughs> a lampshade broom combo looking at your your interesting tail adornment. Do you know what I can that do? Just so I can fantastic. do that. Uh, I mean, it, I guess it I I somehow feel that most people are going to notice that you are actually undead. I think the uh, game will actually realize. So, uh, yeah. But it's Good just taking the, the visual off. You know, it's not actually taking the bucket off my oh, head. Oh, I didn't realize. Ah, that, that, that spoils my immersion. But anyway, <laughs> welcome back, everyone. I do hope you enjoyed the last episode. Now, the last episode kind of... Uh, wound up a couple of the threads on the ship, mostly by crashing it into the shore. Um, so as a result, shall we start off this episode by uh, recapping what we've done by checking out the journal? Yes, I think we should. So okay. would you like me to, to read some bits out? Yeah, by all means. Uh, go ahead and read everything from Escape from Reaper's Eye. Fair enough. So the first entry in my journal for that is called The Escape, and it just says that after surviving the shipwreck, we've arrived at the island known as Reaper's Eye. Fort Joy looms ahead. We have to escape from this place. Uh, the next entry says The Voices, and it says, As I drowned, I heard a mysterious voice. The voice seemed to save me. But where did it come from? And why am I important to it? And under Ominous. the collar snow, and I imagine you have a the collar bran, uh, mm -hmm. I couldn't find a way to remove my collar on the ship. Maybe someone will be able to help me on this island. Hopefully, that is the hope. Uh, okay, so I'll take uh, my story so far. So we've got the Magisters. Um, that was from the, the boat, so we've already seen that. Everything in the Merryweather, we've already seen. And I've just got to take a moment to say how much I like the name Merryweather for a ship. I it think is it's beautiful. Lovely. It sounds like a happy ship, even though it just yeah. got shipwrecked and everything. But, yeah. but before that, I'm sure it was may happy. Maybe it prescribes to the uh, place naming um, system, where the prettier a place is named, the worse it actually is, perhaps. Uh, but we do have something new now, Escape from Reaper's Eye. Something was amiss on the transport ship that carried me to Fort Joy. A sorcerer transportee was found dead, and our Magister handlers were on edge. Eventually, the killer was revealed, a sorcerer witch who had seemingly lost her mind. She remarked that I was unique somehow, unique enough to warrant her killing me also. She summoned a huge waterborne void woken that began to attack the ship and kill all aboard. And I had to take my chances on the open sea. On the verge of drowning, a strange vision came to me, a powerful presence and an oddly familiar voice. It stated that it was not my time to die, for I still had a great task before me. Now I awaken on the shores of Reaper's Eye, with Fort Joy looming ahead. It must have been blind luck that I survived, surely. Why would someone like me benefit from divine intervention? Interesting Lovely. questions indeed. And it looks like mm. we also have just a, one last entry to close off Troubled Water, so I'll go ahead and I'll read that. Um, it looks like just after we checked the lower deck, it said some of... The, uh, other sorcerers have abandoned the ship, while we ourselves just managed to escape in the nick of time. That's nice. actually interesting. It says we. I wonder if that says I, if you're not playing it multiplayer. Mm, maybe, maybe. It seems like the sort of game that actually cares about such things. It, it does have nuance to it, ah. doesn't it? All right, then. So let's have a look at... Oh, there's some shells on the floor. Let me uh, pick these up. Let me have a look at you. This one. Lizard mystics have been known to use these shells as musical instruments in their death rituals, invoking the haunting howl of far sea storms. Well, in that case, I shall send it to you. Um, you may not be a lizard mystic, but, uh, you know. You I can do nothing but crafting with it, unfortunately. I am, yeah, I'm a lizard, but I don't think I'm a mystic. Maybe if I was, I could play a song on it. I don't know. What I'm doing quickly is uh, setting up a bunch of things in my inventory. To be well, actually, I'll keep that. Um, to be considered ways, so they'll be uh, traded away. I'll do that with the shells, Make I think. Trading a lot easier. I've also uh, organised some of my inventory. I put all of the books that we have in a bag, um, and also um, we've consolidated all of the food that we were carrying around and popped that in into another backpack. And currently, I I am carrying around all the luggage. I'm just 
just hefting these two really great backpacks. You can't see it because I'm very, very stealthy. I mean, this is how I've managed to uh, hide the fact that I'm a skeleton for so long. But uh, yes, so uh, just so you understand where all of the items have gone. All right, said we have found a uh, waypoint. And actually, a rather menacing looking st uh, statue with a face Rackers on a shield. Rex. Hmm. I thought the order would get rid of any trace of the old Source King. Uh, apparently, I thought wrong. Uh, handkerchief? Yes, please. Gentleman should never leave home without his ha handkerchief. Uh, a bowstring as well, if you'd like to pick that up. Yes, I would love to. Uh, those people at the bottom of the statue do not look happy. Uh, no, you're right. They really don't. They're actually. all chained up. Yeah, kind of wallowing in misery. Also, hmm. there is Tam down here. We tell. I remember you from the early access. Small access. mirror in his hands. Yeah, he holds it up at angles, inspecting his eyes, his chin, the crown of his head. He spots you, and his arms snap to his sides. Let me know when you finish reading it. Okay, I've finished reading. But just to recap before you click continue, oh, well. um, we just to reiterate what we said in the in the um, uh, first episode. Every line is voice acted, but when you listen in on another person's conversation, you don't get the lines that have already passed, and that includes the first line, no matter how quickly you click. That doesn't get read out for you, but the other person will often still be listening to the voice acted lines. So when one of us is listening in on the other, we'll just remain silent, and we'll just quietly read it ourselves so that uh, the other person... Um, can finish the voiceover because we wouldn't want to talk over it and then then we'll continue on from there. Um, I know a lot of people appreciate it when we read out everything um, when something isn't voice acted, but in this instance, it would just make things a little bit clumsy and uh, clunky. So uh, hopefully you can forgive us. Yes, because uh, otherwise we'd end up with some people hearing it twice and things like that. Yeah, exactly. Right, go ahead. I'm not supposed to talk to lizards. How rude. I'm going to tell him that's a pity. Lizards are famed storytellers. Really? Like, what kind of stories? Hmm. Indeed. I'm what going to tell him about a dragon king and a beautiful elf princess. A dragon that marries okay. an elf? That sounds silly. Well, you know. Can I hear it anyway? Oh. <laughs> you, you sounded so different. It's like, I, I have this awesome story about a dragon and a princess. That sounds silly. Uh oh. Uh oh. You warmly tell the tale of the dragon, but despite your best efforts, you notice that your knowledge of legends and monsters is somehow upsetting the child. How did you make a story about a dragon marrying a princess scary? I don't know. Maybe it's my face. Are you a sorcerer? Uh, <laughs> One of those guys that brings the bad void things here. Uh, I'm going to say... I am, and by the looks of the collar around his neck, so is he. The child That's looks at you point, straight actually. on, unafraid, searching the shadows cloaking your face. He lifts his mirror to his nose, closes one eye, and looks at himself again. What's he doing Hopefully with that he mirror? Get too close to your to your face, you know, being that you are mostly bone. Yeah, and scary lizard bone at that, with sharp teeth. I don't see any sauce on you or me. I guess they're wrong. Or crazy. Oh, poor Tam. Tam needs to sort his sinuses out. I know. I was literally thinking that. Tam needs someone to... to uh, does he want my handkerchief? I, there's, I, there's some salt water down there. You can do a little rinse with it. <laughs> ah, that sounds incredibly eye-wateringly painful. But effective. <laughs> oh, my Lord. I'll tell him he should run along. It isn't Better safe out here. Inside. True. There's evil lizards that want to pour salt water up your nose. Um, say it isn't safe out here because our ship was attacked by Void Woke and not too far off this shore. But you didn't okay. die. He has a surprisingly solid argument there. Well played, Tam. Yeah. Ask him why he didn't seem scared. I guess I am, but it's just normal to be scared. Nowhere isn't scary. Dear Lord, that's deep. Like, wow. I know, that child is traumatised. Okay, I'm going to say I survived the void woke and attacked by the skin of our teeth and we should, he should really go find somewhere safer. There isn't anywhere safer. That's what I mean. Everywhere's scary. You'll see. Wow, that's kind of ominous, I've got to be honest. Oh, you can I'm stay just going to check as well because he actually has a trader. Ooh, 
be gone. You didn't tell me that you ended it. Oh, okay. Sorry, I, yeah, I'd ended the conversation and then I was like, oh, yes, I just remembered he had a trade. So he's got a toy wooden block. He's got lockpicks, but we got bony fingers. Yeah, we don't need lockpicks. He's got shells, but we don't need to eat because we aren't dead. There's a trap disarming kit. Do you think we would uh, have use for that? Um, yes, actually, I do. I'll see if I can get it. Let's, um... I imagine that would be quite good. What's, what's the uh, description on it? It says, a fiddly little kit that you can use to disable traps and mines. If only these were available for people, too. <laughs> I can't fault them, then. Uh, okay, how much is it? It's a hundred. Uh, I could send you all of my gold over. Actually, let me send you all of my wares. That way you can just instantly sell them all. And you might. Okay. How do I instantly sell, sell them all? Just clicking on one or. There's, there's a button at the top. Um, like sell sell wares. wares. Oh, right. Oh, for like all that, wares. I, I got you. So that all goes in. Nice. Um, so that's 68 already. Yeah, I've got enough already just with the wares. Oh, right. Okay. Brilliant. I, I think I if you click like on 35 a scales, gold off the Magister. <laughs> What's that? Sorry? If you click on a scales, it should balance out your gold to match what you're trying to buy. Ah, cool. You drag the uh, the item that you want into their trade window on the right, and then click the scales. It'll offer however much gold you need to offer to make up the trade. Scales, 100. Oh, I see. So it takes 32 of my gold and leaves me with 16 of it. Nice. There you go. Okay, got my trap disarming kit. Sorted. You should probably hold on to that, as you're definitely the more thievy of yeah. the two of us. Well, just, no, just wait. I'll probably end up with that in my inventory at the end of the game. You watch. Um, oh, that's a good point. I didn't even think that it might be a, a consumable. Let's hope not, because that's a lot of money for something that we're just going to use up. That being said... Maybe it's not a consumable. Bad. Maybe maybe you can use it again and again. Maybe that's why it's, why it's so expensive. That would be fair. Whisper word, short sticks. Let me uh, grab these. Always want to pick up crafting ingredients, and there's going to be a lot of them around. I can try and keep alt pressed as much as I can. No. What is that? Auto, auto save there, so it might be something up ahead. Ah, okay. Oh, yeah, I can see some bugs up yep. ahead. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I can see them. Right, if you hold down shift, you can see where they can see. Um, Shall we sneak up on him? Yeah, actually. If you press C, you can enter stealth mode. Oh, leather oh there's loads of crafting materials around here. Okay, now, within the the kind of um, transparent highlighted area, we should be safe. But in the opaque, well, it's not quite opaque, but the, the more highlighted red area, that's where they can see us. I think I covered that a little bit in the first episode. Do you want to get into a position? Have you got your weapon equipped? Um, I will check. Yes, I do. Got my crossbow. Oh, 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 oh. oh, I wasn't. I wasn't quick enough to move. Right. Okay. Oh, damn it! It saw you. It did indeed. I'm gonna take some sneaking eventually, and what's gonna happen there is uh, that their radius of their sort of sight range is gonna start to narrow when I take oh, more be quite sneaking. Cool. Quick question though: Were you able to sneak without using up any action points just then? Because you hadn't been pulled into the fight. If so, that is bloody awesome. I must say. I'm not sure. Sorry, I wasn't really paying that much attention to my action points. But I, I think I've got all my action points. Well, what we have here is I can hit you two with my wand, which is good. I can delay my turn or I can flee combat. No, no, no. We're fine with that. Um, I'm going to say... It only costs me one point to raise a corpse. So let's go ahead and do that. Next up, I would like to put a bit of poison on the floor, right about there. Poisoned, good, 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 good. And now I'm gonna, well, I can't actually use that. I'm gonna move into a better position for me to be able to see my enemies from. Yeah, let me move over here. Right then, let's see you guys. Uh, you've already taken a bit of a wound. Unfortunately, it's going to take me a lot of AP to get over there and attack you. Same here, really. Which one of you is going to move first? You're going to move first, and you're also the most damaged, so I'll just stack that a little bit more. 
And next, I'm gonna have you move on to the poison so you're regenerating. You, Ooh, what? I know you. What? They talk? I did not know they talked. That was kind of freaky, wasn't it? I know. I just like they're centipede bug things. They're squishy bugs. But no. We actually had a close look at them. Do they have like weird faces or something? They certainly have weird mouths. Oh yeah, they look a double mouth. Maws. That's no no weirder than some insects have though. No, no, it's true. It's, it's actually not th not that odd really. But uh, still, let's see what you're gonna do. Uh, make Ooh. a blood summon. Remember? Ah, oh, yes, yes. Blood gives warfare. So I'll pop him there, I think. Blood infusion, blood infusion. So that worked nicely. Yep. Warfare plus one, maximum physical and magic armor is increased by 15%. And immunity to bleeding. Ah, that's I'm going to shoot that. Nice. Oh, that's good. I took him out. And then I'm going to use my... Mosquito swarm. Oh, nice. So that you'll uh, cause um, bleeding damage on it. Very nice. Uh, I don't think you can do much else. You can try and provoke it, though, so it'll stay away from your thing. Oh, it doesn't uh. matter too much. My bloated corpse should be able to handle itself. Well done on the taunt. Now, what I, from what I understand, taunting will make something walk towards you. So, there's actually a, a, another tactical use for taunt that you may not have considered. If you can, if we can position um, people around an oh, enemy who thought, have yeah. attacks of opportunity, yeah. Though that, like, you don't naturally get that. That's something that that you you pick up with certain abilities. But if you can do that, and then you taunt someone. Or you lay down some sort of like fire trail between you and them and taunt them, they will move through it or move out of attack, uh, out of uh, base contact with the people surrounding them, thus provoke attacks of opportunity. You can actually stack a lot of damage on someone by using taunt, I imagine. Yeah, I, as soon as you said that, I was, I was, before you even said an attack of opportunity, I was thinking, oh, attack of opportunity, of course. That's such a clever uh, idea. If you're going to die, let's, let's. Oh, actually, we've, we've got a. We've got exclamations above our heads. I think that can means we that we can talk. Chat to each other. Oh. And comment that they must have been the cause of the shipwreck. Okay. Um, now, this is another aspect I love so much about the Divinity games. Divinity Original Sin and, and this one. Is that when you've got a party, they actually have dialogue. Um, but if you're in multiplayer, then the it, the people controlling those characters choose the dialogue options. You don't mm. get to just... It's a really, really interesting system. They actually have a conversation, and the characters slowly develop through those conversations. Like, it can change stats and personality traits and everything. See, that's um, your favourite bit of a Divinity game. Do you know what mine is? What? Riding a dragon! <laughs> fair point. Yeah, fair point. Um, uh, let's see. Mm. They're just animals, easy enough to euthanize. They're just animals, easy enough to euthanize. They were very easy. Right, so, um, I don't think that I'd be particularly, my character it would be in character for me to worry about relishing, not relishing killing the creatures. Uh, so it's going to be two or three here. I'm going to say that dry land mustn't suit them because I think my scholar might have like picked yeah. up little bits about uh, about them. So. They didn't put up much of a fight. Dry land mustn't suit them. I mean, yeah. these these things here will quite often dictate like personality. Traits and the way I've been thinking is my witch of the wild. Yeah, you know the the idea of of death being something that Drown. oh we should avoid it. I don't and think by that. Void woken. Ooh. I wonder in which order. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt ah, there. I was trying to loot. <laughs> no, no, that's fine. Um, I just saw the the text pop, uh, pop up over the magister, magister Jalen. But I feel that my witch of the wild would would have a much more pragmatic 
view on death, or maybe maybe even a spiritual view, but not in the sense that death is something to be avoided or, or, or that sort of thing, but more just a, a part of life. And I would think that your your witch might find there being a certain of abhorrence to void woken anyway, because they, they don't seem natural, you know? Well, certainly something there, whisper word. Elven elders claim that those who can understand the secrets of Whisperwood by this herb will be protected by the blessing of Tyr Candelius himself. Hmm. Well, that's uh, interesting. Uh, I've managed to pick up a little bit of gold from that, though, and another scroll. We've now both Very got nice. two resurrection scrolls, which I'm actually quite Ooh. happy with. I'm just picking up shells. <laughs> uh, I'm, not being, I'm not doing anything harmful. I'm just minding my own business over here. Picking up shells. Picking up shells. On the seashore. On the seashore. I'm not selling them though. Oh, okay. Oh, there's a book in here. Crafty weaponry, die by the sword. Ooh. Ooh, I wonder if that's going to have more recipes in it. Or maybe even skills. Give it a read. Let's give it a read. Ooh. A word of advice to the badly armed. Tie your knife or shiv if that's all you have to a stick or a branch. Now you've got a sword of sorts. Two new recipes! I mean, that makes sense. Oh, in fact, we've leveled up. Oh, so we have. I will have to check that out in just a moment. Uh, but yeah, the knife on the snake. I mean, I've got a, a knife. Do we have Let a stick between us somewhere? Um, You've got a long branch. Physical. Uh, I do have a long branch and I've got a short stick. Was it a stick or a long? No, it was a stick. Any knife and any rope. Right, so the damage is 3 to 4 physical, scales with finesse, can backstab. Backstabbing deals critical damage when you attack from behind your target. Oh, I don't know. Do I want to lose that? Uh, you know what? Let, let's see. Actually, I can I can only assume this won't have backstab on it, but I'll double check. Let's have a look. It's up to 5 to 6 physical now. Requires strength 10, does not scale with finesse. Um, I didn't check the the value, but uh, it's worth a decent amount. It's a one-handed sword, so yeah, it's a sword of sorts, as as was advertised. Very well, Very it's nice. actually not too bad. I think I would have preferred the backstabbing quality, though. But that's cool to know for future. Oh, but as you said, we've got a level. Uh, right, okay. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll we'll pour over the stats and pick our our levels. And then bring you back for a summary, rather than Very having well. you sat here while we're looking through everything. What do you think, Shia? I think that's a good idea, because you, no, no one wants to see you levelling up for half an hour. <laughs> it's true. Hopefully it won't take that long. <laughs> see you in a moment. See ya. Hello, everybody. We're back from levelling up our characters now. And, uh, Avak, would you mind if I explain mine first? By all means, sure. Okie doke. Um, firstly, I have raised my finesse which helps with my archery and I have put another point into my intelligence which helps me with my summons so it should make my summon a little bit stronger uh, intelligence based attacks and skills do 15% extra damage so I'm hoping that that means that my summon does 15% extra damage the uh, combat abilities I have just raised my summoning by one level again so again making my summon stronger and then I have just put one more uh, point into my nasty deeds and into thievery so uh, i can pick how much better. can you yeah how much can you pick pocket now because that goes up with each four level four kilos or 450 total gold value and then the next level i get it can be six kilos and a thousand one hundred total gold value wow so that goes up quickly it does yeah gold value wow yeah. Okay, well that's actually pretty cool. For myself, I have continued to focus on the intelligence stats. So I've, or rather the sort of mental stats. So I've improved intelligence up to 13 points. And wits has gone up to 12 points, which will in turn also give me a, a slightly better initiative. Um, in terms of my combat abilities, I've actually gone for leadership. Because leadership does give a really nice... Um, global buff to any allies around you um, Such who a team are within player. five meters. I know, I know. So we'll. Any, I'm not sure if it applies to me, but anyone within five meters of me will gain plus two to dodge, and three percent to all resistances. Uh, plus two percent that is to dodge. And finally, I've actually gone for telekinesis because 
I feel that playing a, a very magic focused character, yeah, you know, it's not out of out of um, sorts for them to have mastery of a telekinesis, but also because I don't intend to really rise the strengths that much, if at all. I'm going to be heavily limited with how how big a thing I'm going to be able to shift just by carrying it. So with this, I'm just going to be able to telekinetically move things regardless of how heavy they are. So I thought that would be a uh, pretty wise move there. Yeah, okay. I think that's pretty sensible. So good levels, I think. Yep, right. Okay, well... Carry on down this beach. Someone up on the map, actually. Uh, it's a little... The Red Prince is just up ahead. Oh. Just there. Let's head over there. I love the ability to ping. That's actually quite How do you ping? More shells. How do you They're ping? They're not I've spoons. Had... Uh, you ping with... There's a like, little torch icon on the minimap. Oh, yeah. Ping. I see. Indeed. Thank you. And you. Fantastic. Okay, well... You know, um, I think you should be the one to talk to him simply because uh, you're his slave. After yeah, you all. can have the next couple of conversations because I talked to Tam as well. Ah, oh, it's fine. You spot a strange lizard gazing over the water with a steady, malcontent stare. His skin is of a bright blood red colour. Could he be. Ready to continue? Yeah, by all means. Could he be? Could he dun, be? Dun, dun, dun. The guy I met. A day ago? <laughs> yeah. Yes, you recognize him from the ship. It would seem you're not the only one who survived the tentacles of the deep. Fantastic. Okay, I'm going to smirk and tell him his slave has come to report for duty. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. The lizard Love turns it. about with the graceful ease of a dancer. Or a duelist. You Ooh. lock eyes with his two smoldering embers that sizzle your very soul. My lord. You're taller than he is, which is interesting. That's because I'm that's awesome. just the lampshade. It's the, it's the bucket, I think. I think if I take yeah. the bucket off, we're the same height. Okay. And a dutiful servant you are too. The chances are I wouldn't have survived that shipwreck had you not returned to the aid of your master down that dreadful hold. True. At least he remembers you. Yeah, we did. We remember to go back. You have my gratitude. I'm glad I have your gratitude. Hand over heart, he salutes you with a bob of the head. More than a nod, though less than a bow. Interesting. I'll tell him that we were glad to be of help. It doesn't do to stand idly by when people are in danger. Oh, yes, I'm sure you've all the makings of a hero and all that, but let's not get carried away, <laughs> shall we? Well, you know, I could throw you back yeah. in the sea if you want. Nevertheless, one good turn does deserve another, so... As far as the whole slave business is concerned, let's just forget about it. You may as well have your freedom. Oh, he gave oh. me my freedom in return for saving him. Not that he really, really could take it off you, realistically speaking, but yep. maybe. Actually, oh, he might be a high level. There's nothing I further. Nah, he's level one. Yeah, I'm going to ask what he's doing standing on the rock. I'm sure I don't mean to sound condescending, but... I had thought it quite self-evident. I was gazing out over the waves. <laughs> I love the sass on these characters. Oh my I God. know. Fade, uh, Fane has a lot of sass as well. Mm -hmm. We should see if we could get the Red Prince and Fane as like two, <laughs> <laughs> two henchmen. Um, he sighs dramatically. Uh, the melodrama. Tell me. What do you see when you cast your glance over this ocean? I'm going to say, say that as of last night, you see a kraken infested wasteland you never want to go near again. Touché. He looks out <laughs> over the water once more, and so do you. A few tranquil moments pass as the waves lap against your thoughts. Oh, that's poetic. I like that. Yes. We're looking over the water together. So no, romantic. I mean that, that phrase, as the waves lap against your thoughts, that's actually quite poetic. It is, actually. I like it a lot. As for myself, when I consider this vast expanse before us, I see an empire. An empire? I see continents dotted with mighty cities. 
and shimmering along the soft curve of the sea's horizon, I picture the palaces that formed my paradise. Lost. Oh, he sounds so crestfallen. I know, he's so sad. Uh, I could shrug and say people see castles in the sky. Might as well see them in the sea. Yes, but these weren't castles in the sky, were they? Quite obviously, I was musing over the very actual empire that I lost. Oh, obviously. Obviously. <laughs> obviously. Considering that you, you eat, like, did you see it in the ship where he was telling off the uh, his blue lizard servant girl for not giving him, like, a 12-course meal? Yes, yes, because <laughs> all she was given was turn up some water. having all the air of being deeply offended, he stares at you with utter incredulity. Lucky you got those. Well, don't just stand there gawking like an ape at an abacus. Or do you really mean to tell me you don't know who I am? I kind of should know who he is because I'm a lizard and a scholar. Yeah, to be fair. I'm going to take the lizard option and say you suppose he can be no other than the famed Red Prince, if such a thing is possible. The very same. I am the Red Prince, the all-conqueror, the world-tamer, the spouse of the sun. Painful. Yeah, I I can't imagine that would be a, a very um, pain-free relationship, honestly. You'd be like, honey, I'm home. Give me a kiss. Ah! <laughs> of course you know me. There's a brief moment's pause, during which his grandiloquent pose deflates ever so slightly. That said, I suppose I must own up to the fact that I find myself rather in between all-conquering and world-taming opportunities at the moment. All-conquering and world-taming opportunities? Sounds like it's CV. The grandeur that is my fate has uh, hit a bit of a snag. But never you worry. For the throne I was destined, and my throne I shall have. That's and do they really the want a sorcerer on their throne? Hmm. Uh, I mean, you know, if he, if he becomes a really powerful one, I don't think they're going to have a choice. Maybe. Uh, so I'm going to offer to help him win his throne back. Truly. A kind offer indeed. And you've already proven to be trustworthy enough. You came back for the others on that ship, after all. Fine. I accept. Hmm. He you accepts. Know, what? Oh, I was going to say, it's an interesting thing he said there. You've proven trustworthy. You did come back for us on the ship. Now, I wonder if you didn't go back, would they have all just died and not made it to land, or would they have made it to land through some mach uh, machination? However, they'd refuse to travel with you because you hadn't come back for them. Yeah, maybe, maybe they would, and maybe, or maybe they, it'd be harder. You'd have to persuade them or something. Yeah, interesting though. On one condition. Oh dear. For reasons I'll not disclose right now, it is imperative that I should meet with a dreamer, one of our kind's revered mystics. Fine. I've reason to believe one of them may be present on this island. Promise me we'll look for him, and I'll extend you the blessing of my company. <laughs> oh my Lord. Well, I can always promise we'll look. Can't promise we'll find. That's Jolly fair. good. Uh, before you go, tell him he should probably know you're actually undead. Oh, my word. How you do astound me. Yeah, I, I've got a funny feeling that only the the chronically unobservant are actually not going to be aware that we're undead. The feeling yeah. I've gone so far isn't that, oh no, he's undead, flee. It's like, uh, you do realize these eyes in my head do more than just decorate my face, yes? Mm -hmm. Come now, uh, did you really think a handful of linen towels can fool me? Well, yeah. Don't I have studied the arcane arts for years, including necromancy and demonology. I do not hold the petty prejudices of common folks. In fact, I prefer the exceptional in all things. Your secret is safe with me. You know, I actually really like that. It's somewhat endearing, actually. He's gone up in my estimations. The fact that he prefers the exceptional yeah. in all things. Ah, I like it. Well done. So, now that that's settled, first things first. He's still annoying, though. Yeah, true. Even if you are as versed in the art of eloquence as I am, that our swords will be doing a lot of the talking from here on out it goes without saying. As a born fighter, I prefer the perfection of the blade myself. But I'm well acquainted with the secrets of magic and, yes, even subterfuge. What say you? 
I'm gonna uh, tell him to stick to be a fighter because we uh, are quite magic and. Uh, that's actually really cool though. The, the when you pick up the henchman, you can choose what class role they're gonna fulfill. Yeah, that's I, really awesome. I'm fairly certain it didn't do that last time we played either. I think that's been added I in. My, uh, if I'm perfectly honest, but that that's pretty. That's a really nice quality for mm. the game to have. I wonder if it does actually change his stats and uh, available skills based on the answer there. Yeah, That'd I think it'll cool. prob it probably would change his class, wouldn't it? Mm. So I'm gonna keep him as a fighter anyway, because as I say, we need one. Very well. Onwards then to victory or death. The That's red pencil nods it. and gives you a smile that wavers ever so delicately between courtesy and contempt. Wow. Really was noble born. Yeah. My lord. Yeah, we're helping him out and he's still all like up, up himself, isn't he? Like, <laughs> Mr. Red Prince. Now, as you're away, you'll be travelling with a prince. Proper forms oh, of the come on. include your majesty, your royal highness, or, or if you're feeling particularly frivolous, my lord. I think he's going to just have to deal with hey you. I'm honestly. just going to call him dude. <laughs> Oi, dude. <laughs> As your luck would have it, I seem to be fresh out of luggage, so you won't be required to carry my belongings. Very well. <sighs> you know all that stuff I was saying about you know him being somewhat endearing and me starting to warm. I that I would like to take that statement back. Yeah, you know, you know the stuff that I was saying about him being annoying. I would like to say yeah. that that was right. <laughs> <laughs> well played. Of course, there are other forms of protocol to bear in mind, but I'll see to it. You'll pick up the rest as we go. So, without further ado, let us be off. Okay, you finally <sighs> shut up. Thank you. <laughs> yep. Yep. Karen is bonded with the recruiter and can develop a relationship only with that character. Oh, that's interesting. That is very interesting. So who's that's your slave now? Ha <laughs> you're following me around. That is true. That is very true. More shells! <sighs> if only they were spoons. If only they were spoons. I thought you'd forgotten about spoons. Well, no, I... What? I mean, I, I found tea. What you, do you expect me to stir the tea with? You didn't mention them for the whole of the last episode. Why did you send me them now? Because we were on a ship fighting for our lives. I mean, you know, th there's a time and a place for everything. And, and, and worrying about spoons whilst being, you know, growled at by a kraken, it's just not the right place. But now that we're in slightly uh, sunnier climes and a more calm environment, I can return to the more, the more pressing matters of being a gentleman. Very well. Oh, I stir my tea with my bony the finger. Herald of wisdom in my homeland. Can you oh, speak to it? How fortuitous. Uh, yes, I can. Uh, okay. Oops. I probably should be listening here. I'm so sorry about that, Sheila. I clicked continue without even thinking, because I'm so used to you being such a fast reader. Oh, no, no, um, it's fine. I just forgot to click the ear thing, but it shows <laughs> me the whole conversation. Ah, cool. Um, okay. Uh, I, well, I didn't follow you. Trust a cat. Um, uh, I'll be polite. Me? I know who I am. Well, at least I think I do. Sometimes it feels like, no, I know who I am. Who are you? A, a fair question, I suppose. Um, <sighs> I'm going to say I'm a spiritualist who never foresaw this future. Most don't see what's coming. Can't see what's ahead. Can't, can't keep my mind straight. Probably because you're a cat. Cat is drunk. The cat shakes its head, mm. as if trying to wake up from a deep sleep. Hmm. Is it okay? Huh? Yeah, fine. I'm fine. I just, I'm not sure. It's all a little foggy. Did someone hit um, it over the head or something? I, I, I certainly hope not. Uh, wonder where he came from. The cat opens his mouth as if to speak, but his eyes lose focus, and with a jerk, he turns away from you. Uh, well, that was uh, rather 
Interesting. Okay. Uh, well, let's carry on, I suppose. Oh, the I cat could definitely follow. had more to say than the dogs did. Is the cat going to follow? Oh, the cat is following. Okay. Well, that's I spotted something. Ooh. Ha 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 ha. Now, my wits will also allow me to discover things. Mine's a shovel. Oh. No, you don't. Uh, no, you don't. Let's hope this is a worth the digging. May he find I'm a lizard. I can dig. Life in the Oops. Oops. Uh, what? 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 I'm still... Why have you woken up the dead with your weird digging claws? I don't know. I didn't uh, know it would be a dead dead guy. I can't even do hello, funky friend. things like poison him. Hello, hello, undead friend. Uh, I I don't know. That looks like the sort of undead that wants to suck the marrow out of my bones. And I, I'm mostly bone, so that would probably be bad. Mm. So I'm just going to slip back here. Explode him. And then slip back a little bit further, I think. Oh, just just wow, just hide behind me, why don't you? Oh, thank you. Yes, I think that's a great <laughs> idea. It's gonna smack me in the face now. You watch. There we go. Okay, so wow, the red prince. Wow, you go disappear. so slow. What is your initiative with that bucket on your head? Well, it's minus one, and I have ten wits, so it's not great. Ah, okay. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna poke him in the face with my sword there a couple of times. Actually, not too bad. There well he's done. dead. And an explosion because he was bleeding poison everywhere and you set it on fire. That's marvelous. I don't know how I set it on fire. Well, no, no, you didn't set it on fire, but rather you shot it with a weapon that caused it to bleed and the blood immediately caught fire and exploded. Ooh, a tooth and some gold. Can you um, send a poison dart my way at all? Uh, sure. You know what? I'll just use contamination. Uh-oh. Uh, could you move red away? Oh, actually, I wonder if it's going to affect red. No, no, don't go too far. Well, he's linked to me, sorry. I just need to stand okay. in this poison, thank you. Just watch that red doesn't stand in it. I'll, I'll oh, try and keep an eye on him. Wise, yeah. I think the cat may actually be following you, rather than me. It's because it knows. It knows, knows I'm lizard brethren. Oh, that's fair enough. Uh, ooh, we've got a crate. We've actually, by the looks of it, got a hidden passageway, which is I've rather... I've spotted old. something. Okay. What did I spot? We've got something else. Uh, looks like we've got a mound oh, of sand on the floor. Another there. digging spot. Yay! Almost there. Dig, 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 dig. I'm like a little dog <laughs> digging stuff up. What have we got in there? Dusty pouch. And there is some leather armor, a darling boat, which is a little upgrade on my boat, and some gold. Very nice. nice. Very nice indeed. What was the last thing you found in there? You cut out, I'm afraid. Oh, sorry. You, um, it was some gold. Ah, cool. Oh, looking good with the leather armor, though. Very nice. I'll move my mic slightly closer to my mouth. I'll try not to squeak. There. Okay. All right, I'm going to see what we have through here. Ooh, did, is the cat coming through, or is the cat meowing and not wanting to come in? No, the cat's uh, following yeah, the cat me, seemingly. There. Well, we've discovered a hidden alcove. Oh, there's a dude over here. I wonder if he's a fighty dude oh, or a it's talky Fane. dude. Ah! Oh, hey, Fane! Hello there. Uh oh, what? I Did don't know why. Did you pick up an entire barrel of poison? I, I clicked on it by accident. I'll just pop it over there. You ready? I am ready. Okay. Approaching. You hear a profane rumble from the undead beast. It's not a beast, bugger. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. How on earth am I supposed to... Oh. Perhaps... Skeletal fingers reach down and grip the skin of the dead man's face, pulling sharply upwards. After a few more tugs at the man's cheeks, the skeleton relents, letting the head drop to the ground with a damp thud. Oh, you know what he's doing? Uh... I hope he's not doing what I think he's doing. Trying to Damn remake nation. his mask? That stuck fast. I wonder. 
Does the beard act as some form of anchor? That is fantastic. He's literally trying to rip people's faces off. Oh, my lord. Yeah, because he lost his mask, didn't he, on the ship? So he's wanted to make a new one. That is so bad. Um, I'm going to cough politely. Ah, no! Stay back! Don't... Uh, Actually, you don't seem half as threatening as those creatures in red. Run along, won't you? I have business to attend to. Hmm... What is his business with the body? Why, it's face, of course. What other use would I have for some rotting corpse? Uh, well, I, no. I wouldn't presume to know. A face that seems rather stubbornly attached to his skull. Yeah, faces have a habit of being like that. I would normally employ a tool to delicately but viciously rip <laughs> the face from the body. Lovely. <laughs> Damn it, Fane. I could then craft a mask to hide my bone. But as I lack such a tool... The skeleton grabs the corpse by the cheeks and pulls hard, grunting in frustration as the body's skin holds firm. Right. Um... Well, I, I'm curious. I'm going to ask about his skull. Oh, I'm glad you chose that. Carved? Please. You hardly think I am one of your breed, do you? Uh, there are well, breeds? I kind of had, actually. You have never seen anything like it because you have never met anyone like me. Okay. okay. Simply put, I am an Eternal, and you are not. You have my sympathies. <laughs> Well, thank you, I suppose. Indeed, no one seems to have the good taste to be. My people are rather absent. Very well. At least from this realm. As for the others, well, there is an excavation site at the Black Pit's oil fields. Perhaps there I'll find my answers. Okay, I've got a lot of questions. Uh, thankfully, it seems like I have a lot of options as well. Um... I'm going to ask an Eternal, what is that? Some sort of cult? A cult? Hardly. We were a race that existed before the idea of race was needed. We were all one. All right. I could ask you to imagine an Eternal as a creature of incredible intelligence and skill. But I fear the limits of your imagination would not do us justice. Says the person trying to pull another person's face off just by tugging at the cheeks. Yep. I, I feel that uh, there may be glass houses and people juggling stones at the moment. We studied yep. the mysteries of the universe. We created works of great art. We, we disappeared. Hmm. But I will find them. Wherever they are, I will find them. We will have our world again. Uh, that sounds almost like something I could appreciate, but also a little bit vaguely threatening, honestly. Yeah, um, like they're going to take over the world. No way. Yeah. Where does he think his people are? In some other realm? Ah, well, that is the curious thing. They are clearly absent from this world, and yet they are everywhere. Uh, okay. Every one of your races resembles them in some manner. And the statues you have built to your gods look remarkably familiar. Oh, that's kind of mm. interesting. I, are perhaps you like an undead angel? Perhaps people have ascended to mm. some new realm. Or perhaps your gods are merely a folk memory. Perhaps it could be. I mean, if they're as powerful as he claims they were then maybe the early races did worship them as gods. Regardless, yeah. they are not here. But I will find them. Wherever they are, I will find them. I kind of like... I, I, I like I like his determination here. It's a cool story as well. Hmm. I like. But, yeah, this, this begs the question. Why is he still here if his people are Well, vanished? that hardly seems relevant. But if you must know, I was inconvenienced. For a time. Ah, it sounds like it's got a long mm -hmm. history behind it and probably an embarrassing one. Several <laughs> centuries, in fact. Or perhaps millennia. 
one tends to lose track. Fair enough. I was sealed in a tomb for daring to be curious about the world. It seems our king did not agree that the universe should be explored to its full potential. That is a shame. Perhaps I should thank him. It seems I was spared whatever happened to the others. I wonder if flowers would be appropriate. Oh. Sounds like... Uh, well... I'm not sure at the moment. Uh, I, I suppose... See, I don't want to be hasty in making a choice of a companion. However... In many games like this, you can choose and then pick I'm someone else say, up I'm later. So, I'm and pretty sure you can over. switch them about. Okay, well, well, since there's no one else traveling with us, uh, sure, if you'd like to travel with us. I suppose. Circumstances being what they are, it could be advantageous. Very you well. seem more at ease in this world than I. A guide would certainly be useful. It does worry me that, that he seems more of a mage and we're becoming a mage-heavy group. Well, just um, see if he'll be a fighter. Mm. And I'm not a full mage. I'm an archer as well. That's true. That's true. Uh, it could work out well. Excellent. Us. While we are conversing, perhaps you notice that I am rather skilled in, well, all things. <laughs> of course, Amazing. the arcane arts are my little speciality. But being a brilliant wizard does not mean I cannot handle blade or bow. So, which do you require for this enterprise of yours i'm actually i will say be a wizard because i'm interested to see how he is uh, set up i could do that okay. with one hand behind my spine now shall <laughs> we get that. on there is rather a lot to see uh very well let that settles Splendid. it very well let's be off okay and there we go oh we just picked up five new recipes and five. new journal entries did oh, you get a journal good. entry for the Red Prince? Um, I might have done and missed it because we had a lot going on at that point. So we can uh, take okay. a little look now. All right. Well, I'll go ahead and read uh, my companions and Fane first. And then you can check out Red Prince if you've got that in your journal. Yeah, I've got Red Prince and you've got Fane by the looks of it then. Okay. You've got the... Uh... Right. Fane. I've met an unusual skeleton called Fane. Someone stole his mask on the boat here, and he needs to get it back or craft a new one. Until then, he'd better keep his face covered. He tells me he's an Eternal, the last of a lost race, and wants to discover what happened to his people. He thinks he'll find his answers at the Black Pit's oil fields on Weeper's Coast. Very well. And what about the Red Prince? Okay, I met with a lizard known as the Red Prince, a royal who is exiled from his empire, He's joined my party in the hopes of finding a lizard dreamer somewhere on the island. Though to what end, he would not reveal. Mysterious indeed. Though uh, I did notice we got a couple of new crafting recipes too. Let's have a look, have at, a look at these. Uh, food, armor, wow. Arrows, grenades. I think most of these we already had. Though uh, got invisibility potions now as well. I say that looks new. Yeah, fight, uh, finesse potions. We got no, we got masks. Look. Yeah, Under yeah, the armor. Uh, armor thing. Dwarven mask of the shapeshifter, ripped off dwarven face plus a source orb. Uh, and then mask of the shapeshifter is a mask for every race. So you'd have dwarven, human, elven, and lizard. You combine all the masks. And you'd be able to make. I wonder if we're gonna. You know what? Since we've learned that, I wonder if we can make one for each of us. Mm-hmm. Oh, that would be useful. That would be super useful. So we can okay. pretend to be other races. That would be really, really uh, handy. Tattered shoes. Very well. Uh, how on earth are we going to find faces, though? Fane shares lore with Bran. Oh. Wow. Um, so is Fane... Has, has he got a high lore, then? Because that's quite useful. Uh, either way, those shoes look nice. Let's have a look. Physical armor, better than what I got. Quick. Right, I'm going to take a moment to have a quick look at Thing's character sheet. We can uh, climb up those vines behind us. Oh, uh, we should probably do that then. Uh, he's a geomancer, pyrotechnic, so he's fire and poison, which is quite useful. 
and has two in law master. So at the moment, Fane is giving us quite a lot of help, and he's carrying two poison wands, which is also quite useful mm. because that effectively means he can heal us. Yep. That is very very useful. Okay, have you looted the whole area? Um, I I think so. Probably not to your standards of looting. I seem to remember that corpse down there. That chest, you mean? The, the, no, oh, the, no corpse. the corpse. Right down in the bottom. Uh, and then the chest over there, yeah. You have to teleport it over to us and then we can open I, it. I remember struggling to work that out a little while ago. But yes, yes, that's going to be That's awesome. why I remember how to do it. <laughs> okay, I'm ready to go up the vines if you want. Okay, uh, Red's going to get poisoned doing this. Oh, that's a good point. Uh, well, we could probably clear it up with fire. Um, however, first, was there a poison barrel or something you picked up? There's an ooze yes, barrel over there. Right, there's something I wanted to do. We can craft using this, I believe. Um, any, We can make poison food. Poison drink with any drink plus poison sauce and poison food. Any food plus a poison sauce. We could just do it on the floor, but uh, we should um, be able to. Well, let so me you can take pick it, it up my and then just poison everything and then pop it back down. Damn it, I gave it to Fane. That's what leave me. <laughs> um, all right, we are back, and I have finished poisoning the almost everything because we do have the Red Prince, and the Red Prince is able to eat non poison food and also quaff health potions. I've sent a whole slew of items over to the Red Prince that uh, he might be able to eat and or drink them. Um, however, I've gone ahead and I've made a couple of new um, poison um, potions, and for that reason, I'm keeping the ooze barrel. That's going to be carried along with Fane from now on because it's going to be very, very, very useful to us. Uh, it is most of Fane's weight capacity, though, which is a bit of a shame. But oh, uh, I will probably be using my inventory for the most thing, for the most part anyway, so it shouldn't be too much of a bother. However, um, while I was doing that, I actually noticed that Fane has two books. Shall we read them? Yeah. Okay. First is the notebook. Uh, this is uh, Fane's journal. This notebook is filled with meticulous notes observing the traits and habits of the mortal races. It details the foods they eat, the clothes they wear, and their speech patterns. It also includes some rather confused diagrams of their mating habits. <laughs> <laughs> that is fantastic. Oh, dear. Uh, oh, my lord. And we've also got uh, the Hubert's Encyclopedia, Volume 4, Lucian and the Black Ring. Uh, let's have a look at this then. then. Um, 12, 18 AD, Lucian and the Black Ring. In this treatise, uh, Cranley the scribe goes to great lengths to document the genesis of the Black Ring as best he can. In summary, Lucian's adopted son, Damien, was resentful of his father and became the Lord of Chaos, which sounds extreme, but according to Hubert, Damien may have had good reason. There is much about Lucian's killing of Grena, Damien's lover. Damien ban uh, Damien's banner attracted a cabal of outcasts, deviants, dark wizards, and various other tainted and tarnished individuals. The cabal became an army fighting for the void. Oh, so there's actually people who fight for the void. That's kind of mm. uh, interesting and also a little bit worrying. Uh, let's pop the, ooh, that one. Uh, I'll keep that one because it is a crafting item. But yes, so uh, interesting. Uh, let's open that books keep storing those i may eventually sell them but for now i think we'll keep hold of them right then shall we move on up now the best way i can think of to get rid of this would be to set it on fire and then like do you have so any like water back. spells or anything no i don't think i do i'll just check okay. what i was gonna say um red's got a dragon's blaze though if you needed fire yeah, the problem is, now putting this out is going to be the issue. Uh, I've got oil, and that's all I've got, unfortunately. Oil! Um, yay! Uh, yeah, we need, we need a... Oh, no, there we go. It went out by itself, and it's left, like, a, a thick haze I think spot. it only has a certain amount of turns. Yeah. Okay, it goes out. Well, that's good enough. There we go. Ooh, 300 XP for getting up here. 
Why is Coming it saying up? I can't reach? Let me up. I'll climb back down. Oi. And now I'm going to go back up. Oi. Um. Oh dear. There you go. Make sure red comes up. up. Oh. Yeah, I was going to say, I just get red to do it as well. Oh. Oh, you can go back down. No, I was clicking on red and then my character went down. All right, okay. She's following him up. That's fine. All right, there's a lot of things that we could possibly take from people here, but uh, this, they look, don't look like they don't look like they so. have. Yeah, it's a bit no. mean. Why don't we just, just no. steal stuff off magisters? Coral. Okay. Are you caught up? Yep. Okay. Um, hmm. Gently ask the shaking child what's wrong. The child quiets and seems comforted by your presence. She looks up at you with curious eyes. Uh, why is she crying? Tell her to come down. Uh, she looks just like a warrior princess you used to know. Oh, tell her if you hear one more peep out of here, she'll regret it. Wow, barbarian, so so harsh. So mean. Uh, I I think I'll go with the mystic option. Ask if you need to hug. The child nods and reaches up to you. Oh. As you hold her, her breathing grows slow and calm. Her wet face is damp on your neck. She lets go and looks up at you with a small smile. Well, it seems that the mystics are, are pretty good with people, honestly. I wasn't expecting that, particularly out of the mystic option. Uh, not that I wasn't expecting it, but you know what I mean. Thanks. You're nice. I do try. You can have this. I found it outside. Oh, wow. I can't read it yet. That's next year, and then I'll learn it. Uh, mm. I will bring it back by next year. That was awesome. I just got a spell. Oh, wow. Uh, electric discharge, I think it was. She nestles back into her spot on the ground and starts tracing figures. A little family in front of a house in the dirt. <laughs> That's actually quite so. She did have uh, an opportunity to trade. <gasps> What's she got? Wow. Um, no, it was more than what she said. Uh, have have a look at this conversation. That the waterfall has a heart made of giant diamond. It's mostly the, the first bit, but uh, yeah. Everything yeah. has a heart except Focus lizards. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. You don't have hearts, cloth scraps, and shells. No. Well, actually, don't technically, I don't. I mean, that's true. Actually, but the Red Prince has a heart, I'm sure of it. Yeah. Would you like to talk to her mother? Yep. Is it this lady? Oh, actually, is she an elf? Mm -hmm. uh, perhaps Do you want to talk to her? Talk to yeah, her you there. talk to her then. Sorry, I didn't realise she was an elf. Okay, let's have a chat. Uh, okay. Um, let's see. Sense an opportunity. Say she sent you to collect all the group's valuables. She needs every last piece of gold before moving forward. No, I refuse. That's horrible. Uh, I, Sheila might have done it because, you know, she, hey. she's a, a sneak thief. But in fact, while I'm talking to her, she's probably already picking I'm like pockets. Robin Hood. I don't steal from poor people. Only because you know they've got nothing worth stealing, I bet. No. Um, say I'm sorry, but I don't know what she means. If she explains, you may be able to help. A Magister offers to help us flee. Atusa. Okay. She says there are many Magisters who do not agree with the Bishop. She says they bring us to safety. Cool. That would be lovely, if true. But Atusa is overdue. She promises to come at noon. We are afraid to stay. Afraid to leave. Uh, kind of caught between a rock and a hard place there. Mm. Um, or if they get caught for staying there. Does she know exactly where Atusa is meant to take them? She says there is a shelter in the marshes outside the fort. She says she brings us there first. She knows a safe path. We wait for a boat and then we go. Wherever. We make a new home. Mm, fair enough. Um, 
No, I'll... <sighs> See, yeah, I, I've had a fairly low opinion of the magisters up to now. Even despite trying to to help them, I feel my character doesn't trust them. You know, except that one the with the Lee's accent. Ah, uh, yeah, she was hard not to trust. But uh, damn it, um, uh, I'll say I never was one to trust the magister. The is different. She does not believe in this place, in their bishop. She will come. And she will take us away from here. Well, I hope for your sake that she does. Uh, in the meantime, do you have anything I would like to buy? Oh, the escape has been added. Okay. You've got muddy mittens, which are better than the ones I've got. Chicken foot, some nails, and a razzle-dazzle grenade. What? Razzle-dazzle grenade? That sounds fabulous. It does, actually. It's 425 gold, though, so that's uh, a no from me. I was going to say, that's more than we have. Uh, I will, however, buy the gloves. Uh, you do not even have the gloves. Uh, so yes, I accept. And I will even up the trade. Uh, cancel. Okay, yeah, I'll buy those gloves. Thank you. There we go. Take my leave. Right, they can go to Thane. Um, well... Because he has, like, virtually no armor to speak of. So having some okay gloves is the least I can do yeah, for him. Yeah, that would help him a uh, lot. All right. Is there much up here for us to explore? There's bedrock, there's healing push. There's all sorts of things that I'm not going to take from from these no. poor refugees. Uh, I'm, I'm glad that, that despite playing a thief, a sneaky, tricksy thief, you actually don't seem that inspired to steal from the people who need it the most. Well done, no, you. I'm going to go and steal stuff off Magisters, I've decided. Okay. Ooh. They seem rich. You found Fort Joy Beach down here. Ooh. Uh, barrel of water, should we want to do something with it? Maybe some things worth collecting. Ooh. Or maybe some things... Um, oh, I can talk to them more. Of course, yes, I've got Peppa. Ha 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 ha. Who <laughs> can you talk to? Uh, oh, fishing rack. I will take the Oh, fish. these uh, turtles. Nice. Yeah. Let's have a chat. They can feel the darkness it, approaching. Interesting voice. Um, I admit that I don't feel much of anything. Not in this state. Um, I mean... There's been trouble, so I'm going to say that, yes, I do. I sense a troubling presence. Does it cast a long shadow on you as it does me? My heart frosts over as if I've been violated by nothingness itself. Wow. That sounds rather awful. It threatens to consume me. It threatens to consume all. I love it that the uh, the turtles have a very slow and deliberate way of talking. Yeah, they do. That that actually is. Oh, do you? They're, they're transforming. Oh, well, I guess that was the the darkness they were talking about then. See, oh, my I Lord, got I a lot of health. was trying to keep my uh, my trap shut there because I remembered this happening last time. <laughs> ah. I was like. I however. I'll see if it still surprises Alak. Yes. Yes, it has. Um, oh, there's someone dead over there. Okay, well, that's good. And it's good for a very specific reason. Um, right, going to move up here where it is somewhat safe. And I am going to... Bloated corpse over here. Thunk. Very nice. Uh, and that is going to be... My turn, I think. Yeah, I'm going to end my turn there. As for you, avoid touched turtle. You are going to be a bit of a pain, aren't you? Okay, I've removed its armor. Oh, dear. Ow. Wow. Okay, you've been oiled. That's I've been not oiled right. and impaled by a turtle. I would like to examine the turtles. Okay, they're wet, which means some sort of um, 
air magic would be good on them. They've got a weakness to air magic as a result. Um, they've got a decent bit of physical armor, but their stats are nothing to worry about too much, but they will do 13 to 14 damage. And they do have opportunists, so they are capable of um, counterattacks, of uh, attacks of opportunity, rather. So bear that in mind. Ah, uh, right, so don't get too close to them, try and walk away. Yeah. Um, are you finding all, all that right. stuff out with your lorist? Is that how you know yeah. all these things? So that's mm -hmm. really awesome. Yep. Uh, so that's enemy characters around you on fire, uh, or I could use fireball. Now, they don't have magic armor, which is grand. However, poison you. And then going to have thing pull back as well. I don't want him to be too close to Avak, though. For fear of provoking them to use some sort of area attack mm. instead. Um, cause an oil surface where it lands. Actually, that might not be a bad one. Because I can set that on fire in the next turn. I think these little guys have uh, quite a few ranged attacks, though. Yeah, they do. It does appear that they are going to. I would not be stood on that oil slick. Well, I can't move myself because it's not my turn yet for moving Shelab. It's uh, the Red Prince's turn. Yeah, yeah. I'm just uh... saying because the Red Prince is right next to it. Yeah, he's not quite on it, though. I'll try not to put him onto it. So I can mm -hmm. battle stomp. I'm just looking at his uh, abilities. I can throw yep. my shield. I'll try that one, actually. Nice. You've removed his armor as well. And I can set... No, no, fire right here would not be very good. If you can hurl fire, then I have put an oil puddle beneath the big one. I've got Poison. Dragon's Blaze, so I could go over there. It would take me 5 AP to move him over there, though. Well, up to you. So I might be I'm better off problem. just... Whacking you could them. engage the small turtle. Because they're going to get a turn next, so you could use... Um, red to block that turtle from advancing on snow. Yeah, that, that might be as much as I can do with him actually, to be honest, because he's not got many action points left. Mm -hmm. So I'll just move him in by there. Oh, the turtle kissed him! <laughs> um, if you get within five meters of me, then you will gain um leadership buffs okay i should actually have thought about I'll that come back over here then. closer to the group uh sorry brand closer to the group i'm just gonna get out of this oil just in case someone decides to set it on fire or anything like that and then yep. i'm going to let's see what an oil uh incarnate does Ooh. immune to slow that's pretty nice. And it has Geomancer plus three. Ooh. Oh, it can, uh, it can do fossil strikes. Petrified. Nice. Very nice. Fossil strike the big guy again. Does it do much damage? Didn't do an awful lot, no. It's a shame. I don't think it does damage so much as slows them down. Ah, oh, yeah, right. it does nine to ten earth damage, yeah. Not bad, actually. I love the fact that it seems to have massive initiative or something, the Incarnate. It seems to have two turns. Which is kind of cool. Starts with a lot of ability points. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Ouch. Poor thing. Rip thing. Rip Fane. You shall be missed. Uh, can I actually hit you in such a way it will cause you to be caught on fire? Good, I could. Can I hit you? I sort of can, actually. 
Set him on fire too, or I can go with this one. Um, or I can get a bit of poison. Well, actually, if I put poison there now because he's on fire, it wouldn't be the good, best idea. Uh, instead, I'll try and help you guys with the red and your incarnate over there. There we go. Cool. Sorted. And that be my turn there. Ouch! My poor bloated corpse. Rip, bloated corpse. Yep, dapper rip. Okay, well, Red, if you can skirt around that oil, you can probably yeah. get in and attack the ancient turtle. I think he went in a little bit. That's a shame. He might be oiled for a certain number of turns. Yeah, he's still got one turn left on it, so it's a bit unfortunate, but be expected. Mm, okay, I'm gonna. He's got not got enough AP to do an attack, unfortunately. That's fine. I'll move him in just a teeny bit closer, though. Right, you're up. Okay, snow. Uh, I'm gonna do a ricochet shot. What does that do? It fires a normal arrow, six to nine physical damage, then finds another target within five meters. I'm hoping that oh. the other turtle is within five meters. It might not be. Might be, yeah. Should we try. Ah, oh, bad luck. It's a good attempt, though. Yeah. What else can I do? Fire arrow, poison arrow. I'm going to infuse my incarnate oh, with yeah, the ranged. Like yeah, because yeah, then he can do a ranged uh, attack, which will be useful. And that's as much as I can do with that turn. Okay, it's an earth damage projectile I'll be throwing at this guy. That did nothing. He had a lot of armor, but now that armor is completely gone. Oh, okay, okay, that's fine then. Don't Always mind quite to so look much. At, at your spells, because some spells will be blocked by physical, and some will be yeah. blocked by magical armor, and so on and so forth. Fair enough, absolutely fair enough. Oh, took a lot of damage. Oh, Fane! Uh, don't get, worry. Fane, get him poisoned. Don't worry. He's on fire. He is, in fact, yes. I'm gonna move. Ah, the problem is, it's gonna set. I've got a funny feeling that if I use the poison here, it is going to really mess up thing. Just depends on yeah. whether it heals him more than sets him on fire. Best thing for me here is to try and deal with you. Um... Uh, set shot for two turns. Damage based on your level. Resisted by magic armor. You have none. I'm going to use this spell. Because it should stun him out of the combat turn. Oh, that's a good idea. There we go. Now, with the remainder of my, my turn, I'm going to... Sure, I'll just stack up some more damage on him. Now, Fane should get a turn before him, which is good. As I desperately need to drink a poison. Uh, he he will attack me if I try to move back. Yeah, he'll get an attack However, opportunity, so... I could use this. All projectiles. There we well go. Well done. Now I can draw back a bit. In fact, I can draw back all the way to here. And I can get a heal on the next turn. Okay, you're up. That's quite a powerful spell. I need spell to I move there. around the fire, I think. Oh. Oh, dear. Just clipped it. That's frustratingly annoying. Don't worry too much, though. Has he got any magic armor? 
Ah, no, he doesn't. That's unfortunate. He's got a fortify spell. Uh, does he... Will that give him magic armor? That'll remove the burning off him. Sure. Glory is mine. So that nice. helped a little bit. And then I can set fire to the turtle. I think if I've Go got enough. It. Oh, not enough uh, action points, I don't think. Oh, do I? Yes, yep, I do. Yeah. Yay. Beautiful. Right. Snow. You can probably finish that thing off just with a regular attack. Yeah, I'm going to say the only thing she can do is an arrow shot. Nice work. That was actually pretty good. feel bad about the, the turtles, though. It wasn't their fault. I know. Poor little things. Uh, I got some intestines. Ah, how lovely. Let's go see what the ancient came to turtle had. Ooh, a rope. Ooh, turtle's claw. Five to six poison. That's actually quite nice. And the other turtle had some water essence. Okay, water essence. What's that then? Um, I shall read it to you. It is a, a cold stream of water flows from the winter kingdom of Hyberheim directly into this swirling enchanted orb. Okay, sounds good. Maybe you can like craft things that you know, need water and stuff. Maybe combine yeah. them. Um, and maybe like if we could get a poison one, then that would be cool. It only weighs 0 0.01. So that would be better than carrying around a big ooze barrel if we could get a poison one. Um, actually, I've just popped on some, some armor. Um, but what what is your um, protection right now? You don't seem to be getting hit too much, but red definitely might benefit. I've got five physical on the, the leather armor I've got, and it also gives me three magic armor, so it's helping a little bit. Oh, okay, that's fine then. I'll stick with this. This is um eight magic armor and two physical, so it shouldn't be too bad. Red has um, a shirt with three physical armor, and his pants don't give him anything at all. Ah, okay. Then the shirt that I was just like handing me down with me is not particularly um, good anyway. Right, okay, this is actually pretty good, I must say. I've now got a poison and a fire wand. Which means I might actually be able to cause anything I shoot at to explode. Your robes look nice. Thank you very much. That was lovely. We are, of course, playing uh, Fashion Divinity. Mm-hmm. Much like Fashion Souls. Uh, right, is there anything down here? Swallowed There's a couple of things, actually. Like. Ooh, what was that? Swallowed it's by... to attempt an escape by sea in these waters. Ah. Oh, someone tried to swim and then got eaten by turtles. Soggy diary. Let's have a read. First night here. Don't seem like it'll be too bad. Found somewhere quiet to sleep. Brought enough dry bread to last me. When all this blows over, I'll be happy to say I survived it in comfort. Group of dumb brutes shook me down for my bread. But I'll have to get smart if I want to eat. I met an old fisherman named Rad. Taught me how to make a net. Rad's gone. Dumb brutes took my net. At least the meanest one got took in the night, getting hungry. I always uh, was a strong swimmer. Waters around here are pretty glassy. Can't be much more than a few miles to shore, can it? Uh, well, as it happens, seems like it was. I'm afraid to say. Oh, so maybe, like, maybe so tried to to swim, got washed back up, and then devoured by turtles. Wow. Seems some, more likely. Some pretty bad luck there, to be fair. Yep. Uh, what have we got over here? We've got a couple of barrels. Ooh. Locked chests. Oh, I could uh, try and uh, see if I could uh, lock pick it. Yeah, also, I've just found a, a new a new book. Craft weaponry bows. Ooh. A concise pamphlet on how to effectively combine a length of string with a stick, club, or branch in order to create a bow. The length of a piece of string is unspecified. <laughs> Fantastic. Twig with a string. Okay, well, we can now make a makeshift bow. I love the crafting. I, I really do. Right, how are you doing with that lock over there? Well, apparently, I'm looking at it and trying to lockpick it. Oh, right, I'm trying to lockpick it with red. That's not going to yes. work. No. That's Generally not. better. I was like, why, why can't I lockpick it? 
There we go. Unlocked with my bony fingers. There are some scale gloves. A Ooh. piece of mind scroll, which uh, gives you a clear mind for three turns. And 22 gold. Very, very nice indeed. I would assume that red would be the best candidate for those gloves, given yes. that he's a fighter. Scale gloves, unless they've got some sort of magical property, sound much more fightery. They have uh, one magic it. armor, four physical armor, and it requires strength 10. But it'll be good for yep. good for him. It's nice to be able to lockpick all these chests and things, because uh, we couldn't last time, and I think there's a lot of cool stuff in them. Yeah. So I'm really, really pleased taking that thievery skill. I don't seem to be able to get... Uh over the water but okay that was actually quite interesting again i do feel feel sorry for those uh those wee creatures but uh oh well we could bring the water barrel with us if we wanted to put out some fire or something at some point but i really don't know if there's any any you should quite there. often the game gives you what you need as yeah. long as you look for it well, if we absolutely at some point find ourselves in a position where a water barrel is the only way forward, we'll just have to remember that there are two back here past the hidden alcove. I mean, I've got that water yeah. essence. I don't know if that can only be used in crafting or if there's other uses for it. Possibly. Okay, well, that was actually pretty good. Uh, let's continue on then, I'd say. Uh, is, is the cat down there? Oh, the poor cat has been waiting for us. Just sat there patiently. Oh, I feel bad. I feel super bad. Oh, scallywag. Super scallywag. Tilly does that. She waits outside for us. Let her in the door. You coming? Yeah, I'm just getting tricked by the vines again. And yeah. It does indeed happen. Oh, that was an interesting sort of half an hour down that secret passage. Yeah, that wasn't too bad at all. All right, let's have a look around then. Must be a cave back there. And by the looks of it, Fort Joy just over the ridge. All right. Well, we're not heading that way. Not yet, anyway. Uh, looks like Fort Joy is just up ahead, though. Oh, well, we can uh, have a little... flower. Intelligence plus one. Heals 10%. Pretty far that grows like a weed. Uh, duration three turns. That's actually pretty nice. cool. A flower that would in increase our intelligence would be quite useful, I can, I can only uh, imagine. More shells, fish bones. Keep on the hunt for awesome things. Someone called Treese or Trice down here. So many shells. Avax stealing all the shells. You know, if you if you stuck a um, twig onto a shell, you could maybe make a makeshift spoon. <laughs> also, you that's, should that's poison. That's crazy enough that it would work. You should poison Fane as well. Oh, good call. Very, very good call, actually. Lovely. Let's go see what she wants or what she's doing. Is she mending nets or something? Hey, mister. Is there love nice here in that stinking okay. boat, huh? Oh, yeah. I'd forgotten I had him selected. Oh, well. Be an interesting, different perspective. I'm sure glad some of the others made it out alive, too. Saw one of them wringing out their tunic at the shore a few hours ago. Say hi for me. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> you caught up on all the readings, sorry. Yeah. Cool. Um, let me see if she has anything different to say. Sure yep. wish more of us could have been saved. Mm, Though, she wants more of us to I be did saved. see one of them wringing out their tunic at the shore a few hours ago. So I guess... Some of them survived, at least. wonder if that's the one that got eaten by the turtle. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm wondering that, too. Uh, do you want to see if she has anything for trade? Yeah, I'll have a quick look. I don't always want to talk. Can't <laughs> I just play here with my shells a while? No, we need to trade. Um, apples, shells, tongs, and a mug of okay. water. Would, do you think tongs would be something we'd need? No, I'm fairly certain we'll be able to find those around and about. 
Okay. In fact, I literally just found tongs. Okay, we don't need them then. Bye, trees. That is fantastic. Can I not grab you at all? No. I need a much longer range on my telekinesis to be able to grab those bottles, it seems. Uh. Oh well. Uh, right. Well, looks like the last place for us to investigate is right up here and for Joy. And I seem to recall something being about to happen. Do you want to switch to using Snow as your main character again? That would probably be a good idea, yes. Okay, let's step forward then. Fane is still not very healed, by the way. Uh, give me a second then. There yeah, hopefully that will help a little bit. Okay, let's go forward. But I know nothing of any Verdus. He hasn't changed a bit. Always late. Ooh. Okay, so we meet the Godwoken then. Ah. You caught up? Yep. We know you've been helping sorcerers escape, Atusa. We have proof. Oh, so this would be Atusa then. Ah, right. So uh, we might have to tell those guys that they don't have a way out. I'd sooner cut my tongue out than lie to you, Alexander. I know nothing of any escapees. All right. She does. <laughs> if you can tell the Godwoken no more, your tongue is of no use. Cut it out. Wow. Harsh. Mm hmm. This can't be serious, Alexander. Come. You should know by now to obey your superior, Magister, whatever she may ask. Okay. Um. So am I right in thinking that Alexander is Lucian's son? Yes. Right, okay. Yes. Hmm. I'm going to go with Mystic here. Call out that only gods are fit to take back what they have given. Stay silent, elf! Natusa pinches the tip of her tongue with two fingers and brings her dagger to its root. Her eyes squeeze shut. Drops of blood form against the dagger's edge and quickly fall to the ground. She groans. Stop! Okay. She didn't have the stomach for it. My father, may his soul rest in peace, would be disappointed in you, Atusa. To think you would lie to his only son, your bishop, and your friend these many years. Hmm. I mean, we know she is lying, so... Yeah, we do. The fate of our realm hangs in the balance. If you will not help us save it, then you will help the Void destroy it. Dallas? Yes, Your Holiness. Okay. I believe we're done here. That seems uh, rather final. Wow. Oh wow. It popped her. Come. We'll be needed elsewhere. That's so mean. My lord. We've got a couple of conversations to go on here, actually. Yeah. That's very interesting. Uh okay. Um I'll have a chat with The Faith. Lizard Magister, or what's left of her, lies in a puddle of gore. Oh, has that pulled us all into this conversation? Yes. Oh, that's really interesting. Okay. Uh, I mean, at the end of the day, she was lying. I think... I, as cruel as it were, ultimately she was lying there, which doesn't change that it was a cruel situation. So I'm kind of caught between the, the two options here, but I'm going to go with uh, harsh times require harsh measures. Yeah. I mean, because I'm not entirely certain that, that Bishop Alexander is, is acting against it's his face. It's hard to know who is actually yeah. I think right Dallas here. was way too bloodthirsty, though. Yeah. 
Harsh times require harsh measures. I'm going to say so much for divine order compassion. She was a lizard, yet a magister. No matter her reasons, her penalty was fair. Ah, so the, they do have their own opinions on these things. That's mm -hmm. pretty interesting. I like that. These creatures are so prone to violence, naturally, the weaker specimens suffer. Ah, I mean, there's two lizards over there, Fane. You, you might want to keep those, those words to yourself, honestly. <laughs> oh dear. Oh well, uh, time for us to step forward, and we all know what's going to happen here. Yes. A Tusa's leg. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh dear. Elves can eat limbs and experience memories of the person to whom the limb belonged. And that is exactly what I'm going to do right now. Om nom 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 nom. Interesting. Have you caught up? I have indeed. I wonder who Verdas is. Mm. Okay, we have got many, many journal updates now. Uh, but I think that's a fairly good place for us to wrap this episode up with. And we can start the next episode by recapping what new things we've learned by reading over the journal. What do you think? I think that is a fantastic idea bit of a gory scene to uh, wrap up on, but I think we've done a few good deeds throughout the course of this episode, so maybe they'll they'll balance each other out. Either way, in the next one, we're going to be finding out what lies beyond those gates and in Fort Joy proper. So uh, I hope you all enjoyed and will be joining us for the next. But until then, from me, take care, everyone. Goodbye, everyone.